Hi everyone. Welcome to Momedaram. In this video, we will see lambda expressions. What is lambda expressions? Why lambda expressions are introduced? How we are writing the code before Java 8 lambda expressions and how we are writing the code after Java 8 lambda expressions. What is lambda expressions? Lambda expressions are like methods without names. That is anonymous functions anonymous functions will not have names lambda expressions like methods they can have parameters body return type and possible list of exceptions that can be thrown like methods lambda expressions also will have parameters that is arguments it will take and body will be there and they will return the value also and if any exception happen this lambda expressions also may throw exceptions like methods unlike methods lambda expressions won't have names and they are not associated with any class as we know object class has some methods string has its own methods map interface has its own methods so methods are belongs to an interface or any specific class but these lambda expressions are not belongs to any class how we will represent lambda expressions we can represent the syntax for lambda expressions as parameters followed by arrow symbol followed by expression or parameters arrow symbol statements if you have more than one statement then we will use curly braces if you have single statement that time no need this curly brackets so parameters means one or more arguments if you don't have any arguments that time it will be empty brackets will be there so this is how the lambda expressions will be represented why lambda expressions are introduced lambda expressions are used to provide the implementation for functional interfaces to provide implementation for functional interfaces in the easy way they have introduced lambda expressions what is functional interfaces an interface which has only one abstract method and can have any number of default methods an interface which has only one abstract method then we can call that uh, interface as functional interface we have predefined functional interfaces that are comparator runnable action listener comparator interface has compare method this compare method is abstract method so whenever we are implementing comparator method we have to provide implementation for compare method so a runnable interface it has run method so we have to whenever we are working on runnable interface we have to provide implementation for run method and this action listener functional interface has a abstract method is action performed now we will see how we are implemented this comparator runnable before java 8 lambda expressions and after uh, java 8 lambda expressions before java 8 comparator interfaces are implemented using anonymous inner classes if you see in this screen print we have created a array list of type employee so we have added few employees like employee id and employee name we have added so we are implementing the comparator here what we are doing comparator is equals to new comparator of as we know whenever we are working with comparator interface we have to provide implementation for compare method so public int compare of employee e1 employee e2 this is accepting two arguments and what we are doing we are returning employee one name dot compare to of employee two dot employee name this compare to method what it will do it will return minus one if employee one is less than employee two it will return positive one if employee one is greater than employee two if two employees objects are same that is employee names are same then this method will return zero so we have implemented a comparator interface here after that we are using collections dot sort method so this comparator is why we are using comparator comparator is for sorting purpose so here we are using collections dot sort of employee list followed by this comparator we are passing so based on this comparator implementation the employee objects will be ordered so when you print this one system dot out dot print and this employee objects if you print the elements are ordered according to the 
employee name that is based on the comparator implementation the elements are ordered so this is how before java 8 we are implementing this comparator interface now we will see how lambda expressions will be replaced this uh, set of code if you see in this screen print we have same list of employees and we are uh, implementing this comparator comparator employee is equals to e1 e2 arrow followed by this statement employee name dot compare to of this employee to object name so here what we are doing in the previous what we are doing new comparator public int uh, compare method it is accepting two arguments curly brackets after this this statement is there that much code we are writing before java 8 lambda expressions here e1 and e2 are employee 1 and employee 2 objects here no need to mention the uh, type of object also if you mention or if you not mention also it will not bother because it will be taken care by the compiler if we observe uh, the implementation of this comparator before java 8 and uh, after java 8 uh, with the help of lambda expressions the number of lines are reduced so if you print this one it is giving it is we are able to sort the employee objects also based on the employee name now we will see how runnable interface we are implementing before java 8 if you see here what we are doing runnable r1 is equals to new runnable of this whenever we are working on runnable we have to implement run, run method right so we are overriding and implementing this run method and we are starting the thread when we are execute this program we are able to see this statement runnable interface with anonymous class now we will see how this runnable this piece of code is replaced with lambda expressions we see run method won't have arguments that is the reason we are using empty brackets followed by uh, uh, arrow symbol followed by the statement whatever the statement we are planning to execute when you run this one we are able to see the result this lambda expressions will be applicable only in the place of functional interface implementation in other places we cannot able to use so based on these examples we understand that lambda expressions are allows to write more clear concise and flexible code and also lambda expressions removes verbosity and repetition of code so these are all the benefits of lambda expressions in the coming sessions we are going to learn more about java 8 features 9 10 and other java features we are going to learn in that places we will try to use in the most of the cases this lambda expressions so that we will understand very clearly this is all about this video thanks for watching